I always knew I was different from the moment I was born, March 14th, 1868. It started out a long time ago, approximately a hundred years or so, when I began my life, no drugs, no crime, no sins, as a female politician. England became my home in 1889. That is where my thoughts collected, word after word, line after line. I began to write, though not under my real name, I didn't want my identity to blame. My morals were straight, my thoughts were clear. I knew what I wanted, no worries, no fear. Not long after, in 1901, we moved to Swan River, where my official career began. I wrote my first piece, Impressions of Janie Canuck. I also wrote magazines and articles, which were later released. My family, we traveled a lot. We used our knowledge to stay on top. In 1907, we settled in Edmonton, where I became the very first woman claimed to the board of the hospital. I learned to involve myself with both women and children, their needs, their rights, our hope. I decided to attend a trial, a trial for women. Though they kicked me out, what was that all about? On August 27, 1922, my own book, The Black Candle, turned its first handle and was dismissed into the hands of our world. From here on, with help of a few others, my story ends here. We sign a petition in which the government is bound to listen. And that they do. October 25, 1933, women are finally declared people. Died in her sleep, Emily Murphy passed away October 25, 1933. She left our world with a distinct new way of interpretation in the way we live to the rules we stand by. No more upper or lower class. No more boys are better than girls. How would we women be today if it wasn't for her will to stand up in what she believed to be right? We would be nothing but heir to the world. We would be nothing but a waste of space. Though Emily stood up as a lady politician and exposed them wrong. With that, we conclude our presentation. Thank, Thank you. you.